Hey guys, it's All Things Disney, and today I'll be showing you how to create this Minecraft character link inspired bracelet. And there are four characters on this bracelet there's Steve, a zombie, a pig, and Alex, all inspired by Minecraft. And you can wear it as a bracelet by linking them together, and you can wear it around. So be sure to check out my other character link bracelets as well, like the Easter Disney Bunnies one and the Big Hero 6 one, and I'll leave a description, I mean, I'll leave a playlist link to that in the description box below so that you can find all the others. But today I'll be showing you how to make this one. So this is my original design, and the supplies you will need for this are a rainbow loom, set up in the staggered configuration with the red arrow facing towards you, you're going to need a rainbow loom hook or crochet hook, then you're going to need bands in the colors of whatever color you want to use to connect the heads and for the extension. So I'm going to, today I'm going to use Persian purple and this this one I have right here has the Persian black ones. And then you're also going to need for Steve, you're going to need skin tone bands. You're going to need two blue bands for his eyes. You're also going to need white for his eyes as well as the pig and Alex. Then you're going to need a brown for his hair. Then for Alex, you're going to need skin tone bands as well. You can use the same or different colored ones. Then you're also going to need a little bit of a lighter hair color. Well, that's what I used. You don't have to. And then I'm using a neon green for the eyes. Then for the pig, you're going to need a darker pink color and you're going to need a lighter pink color for the main body, unless you want to do a solid pink pig, but I alternated colors. You're also going to need black for the eyes, as you can see here, and also for the eyes of the zombie. Then for the nostrils, you're going to need brown, like this, and one more pink, or a light pink. And then moving up to the zombie, finally you're going to need some sort of light green and I'm going to be using the neon greens and then a dark green and I'm going to be use, using the dark green bits. So that's all you're going to need. So now let's get started. So we're going to move up to our the top of our looms and we're going to place the first two bands which will be going straight down from the center row like that whichever bands that you were using for the links the main part right here and the things that are connecting the heads so you're going to place two of those on the top center peg now we're going to place since we're starting with Steve we're going to start with his hair bands so we're going to place two of our um, dark brown or just brown bands going diagonally to the left and then to the right. Then we're going to go down once. And then go down again. So on the left and the right. Like that. Now we're going to take some of our skin tone bands. Just take two of them. Go down once in the center. Then we're going to go down again in the center. And then one more time. like that. Now on the sides we're just going to place one set of double bands on the left and then one on the right. Actually, I made a mistake. In the center you're going to take that last one off. So we're only going down two. And the heads are a little smaller in this one so that we can fit more of them and they get a more square shape effect. So instead of placing three in the middle, you're just placing two and then two on the sides and then you're going to take double bands, go into the center, and then do the same on the other side, but first we got to fill in the right side and then do the same that you did on the left side by closing it off like that. Now we're going to add in his eyes so that we don't have to come back up to him later. So we're going to do all the extra details on him now. So we're going to take out our hooks and first we're going to take one single white band and twist it around the tip of your hook. 
three times, creating four loops. Then we're going to take one of our blue bands or whatever you wanted to use for his pupils, but blue is the color that they are. But if you prefer black, that's okay too. And then twist it around three times as well and squish it together, together with the white ones and that'll create one eye. Now we're going to take another blue, twist around three times, like that, squish it down. Now we're going to do the same one more time with a white. Those will create both of his eyes. See, now they will be on our hook. You can kind of see it if you separate them. So now we're going to take one of these skin tone bands, take it on the tip of your hook, then slide on all of the loops that are from the eyes. So first we're going to take the white ones, then you can move on to the blue ones. Then the next blue ones. And then finally the white ones. Now leave that other part of the one skin tone band on your finger and now we're going to place it on the third peg down from the top on the left and then on the right by placing it on the peg right over the other bands, not touching them or affecting them in any way. Now we're going to spread out the eyes like that and draw in with your hook and just grab the top part of the band and bring it up to the center peg, the third peg down from the top. So it'll separate the eyes so you can see them a little better. So now it should look like this. Now we've done all of Steve's detailing so we can move on to the next character. So we're going to place our connecting bands or our link bands, or whatever you want to call it, connecting the heads and go down once with double of them. Now we're going to move on to the zombie so we're going to take a double of our darker green color bands and go to the left then go to the right like that. Now we're going to go down once and then it, one more time like that on the left and the right and then we're going to take the lighter green for his skin go down once in the center and then twice and we're going to go down once with double of the skin bands on the left and then once on the right like that now we're going to take double of our bands again go in from the left to the center up diagonally and then do the same the other way and this will give a more square like effect now we're going to add on the zombies eyes which are pure black so they're all black so we're going to need four black bands right now so we're going to take our first black band twist it around the three times around your hook same thing we did for Steve so I'm going to go a little faster now do it again and then we're going to swish it down then we're going to do it again squish it down and then one more time since the zombie doesn't have two different colors like the white and then the blue, like Steve, and the eyes, that's why we're doing two blacks because the blacks are only, the eyes are only black. So that's why we're, see, you can kind of see the, how the eyes will look. That's why we're using all blacks. If you want to only use two bands, you can, but I, I made it like this so that it would look similar to the others because all the others have two twists per each eye so that it just looks similar to the others. But it's your choice if you only wanted to do two. So we're just sliding all of the bands on. Like that. Now like we did with Steve, we're gonna take the band, stretch it out, and place it on the two bags, pegs 
second one down from the top of the head where we came down from the diagonal, count one, two, and then place it down. Then we're going to spread out the eye, so we're going to make sure there are two per eye, two twists or loops, cap bands, whatever you want to call those. Then, like we did with Steve, we're going to go up, grab the top part of the band, and bring it up, like that. Now your eyes should look like this, and now we can move on to our next character, which is the pig. And the pig is a little more difficult because there's a little more detail on the pig. So place two of your connector headbands like that, and now we're going to start the pig. So, as you can see in the example I have right here, I, have, I used alternating bands between a darker pink and a lighter pink, as I have here. If you want it to just be a lighter pink or just be a darker pink, then that's entirely your choice, but I'm going to use the alternating colors. So. I'm going to take my alternating colors, one light pink and one dark pink, see there, and it doesn't matter which one you place on the top, and going diagonally down to the left, now I'm going to take it again, and I'm going to go to the right, then I'm going to go down on the left. And then again on the right. Then once in the center. Same step, two bands, and then we're going to go down again in the center. And then again on the left. And again on the right. like this. Now we're going to close off the head by doing the same pattern and bring it up then do the same for the right side like that. Now it should look like this. So now we're going to add on the eyes and the snout, I guess you would call that. So, we're going to add on the eyes first. So we're going to take one of your black bands, twist it around the tip of your hook three times, same thing as all the others, and squish it down. Now we're going to take one of our white bands, twist it around your hook three times and squish it down. Now we're going to take another one of our white bands for the second eye, twist it around the tip of your hook, squish it down. Now we're going to do the same with one more black band. Twist it around and squish it down. Now we're going to take either your dark pink or your light pink colors, it doesn't matter. But if you're just using one color, use that color. And bring all of the loops onto the... So we're just going to bring everything onto those bands. like that. Now like we did with the zombie and Steve, we're going to place them onto the pegs. Same pegs as before, go down two from the diagonal, then we're going to spread out the eyes. Then go in. and bring it up, like that. So now our pig looks like this. Now we're going to add on the snout. So you're going to take one of your brown bands, or whatever color you want the nostrils to be, 
and then twist it around the tip of your hook, same as we did for the eyes, three times, and squish it down. Now we're going to take one of our lighter pinks, twist it around the tip of your hook three times, and squish it down, and then one more of the browns, twist it around the hook three times and squish it down so that'll create the nostrils. Now we're going to take one of our light pink bands and we're going to slide, put it on the tip of your hook and then slide all of the bands onto the one single band right there. Like that. And now we're going to place it on same pegs as the eyes. So now it'll look like this. And you don't have to do anything to the nostrils. So now your pig should look like this. And now finally we get to move on to the last character, which is Alex. So we're going to place our next two linking bands going straight down. Now we're going to start Alex. So to start, we're going to take two of our hair color bands for Alex. I'm using a caramel brown. So we're going to go diagonally to the left, then diagonally to the right from the center using two of the bands. Then go down once, and go down again on the sides like that. Now we can take our skin tone for Alex, go down once more on the left, and then go down once more on the right. Then we're going to go down two times in the center. And this is going right down to the end of the loom. Then we're going to take two bands again, going to the center from the left, closing off the head, and then going from the center and the right. Now we're going to take one single of our skin tone bands and make a cap band by twisting it around that final center peg one time, creating two loops, like that. So now we're going to add on the hair for Alex. So we're going to take one of our caramel brown or whatever brown you're using of our hair bands, twist it around your hook two times creating three loops, then we're going to take single bands, so we're just going to take a single band, put it on the tip of your hook, slide on the loops, and bring it back over, like that. And you can use double bands if you want, it'll be a little more firm, but I think it's better loose. Now we're going to do the same step, place one single band, and then slide everything onto it and bring it back. Now I'm going to do it again. And you should do this about three or four times so that the hair is not too long but it's not too short. So it's just enough of an extension. As you can see here I did three times but today I'm going to do it four times. We're going to place it on the left side no, actually, scratch that. We're going to place it on the right side, like that, on the second peg down from the top where we are going to place the eyes, like we did in all the others. So just leave it there. And now we are going to create Alex's eyes. So we're going to take one single of our white bands, twist it around the tip of your hook three times, squish it down, take one of your light neon green color bands, twist it around the tip of your hook, squish it down, take another green one, twist it around, and squish it down, and then finally one more white, twist it around and squish it down. And But at this point this should ne be nothing new because we've done this already three times on all of the other characters. So now it should look like this. Now we're going to take one more of her skin tone bands, slide on all the loops, and I just took off the band with it, so I'm just going to 
retwist those bands. And then continue. So it's basically the same thing that we've done three other times for the eyes. And just take them all. And then finally, when you have it, we're going to place it above the hair bands, just where we placed all the other eyes from the second peg down from the diagonal. Spread out the eyes. And then once we're, we have them already spread, you just take the top part of the band like we did with all the others and then we're going to bring it up and mine has taken quite a while to do this Okay, finally I got that. So I'm sorry about taking forever with that. But now it should look like this. So now we have our finished up Alex. And then up here we have our pig. So make sure your loom looks like this as I'm bringing it up. Then we have our zombie. And then finally we have Steve. So once your loom looks like this, we can start to take out our hooks and hook it up. So I'm going to go in the cap band, grab the top two bands, bring them to where they go. So it's going to the right, then do the same, grab the next top two and bring them to the left. Now we're going to go in the center, bring the next two bands up, then the next two. Now on the sides we're going to need to bring up those bands go under all the hair bands when you get to that part and bring the bottom two up then do the same going into the diagonal like that. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. So now it should look like this. Now we're going to move on to our pig, so we're going to take the bottom two bands connecting the heads, which are whatever color you chose, bring those up like this, now take the top two, bring them to where they belong, so they go to the left, then bring the next two going to the left, and those, I made a mistake there, that's the right. So now before we take these next ones, these center ones, we're going to pull up the nose, then bring the bands through. You may want to hold them with your fingers, and then bring, go through with your hook under the nose, bring those bands back, and then up. And the reason why we're doing this is so that when we're done, the nose will stick out like this rather than staying into the body like the eyes. Now we're going to just continue hooking up normally on the pig. And you want to make sure you're going under both the eye bands and the nose bands when you get to that part. You may need to pull out those bands just to see them a little better. We're just doing the same 
hooking process that we did with Alex. Same basic technique, just keep looming up. And we're going in all the bands, grabbing the bottom two and bringing those up. And then bring the diagonal in. So now it should look like this. We can tidy up the nose in the end if it looks a little wacky. Now we're going to go in all the bands and grab the bottom two going up to connect the next faces. Now we're going to do the zombie, so we're going to go in, grab the green bands and bring them to the right. Then we're going to hook up the whole right. There's nothing that crazy with the zombie, it's just hooking up and going in the eye bands like with Alex, except there's no extra hair extension. So it's just a basic hooking. Then we're going to the center. But before you go to the center, I made a mistake. Be sure that you hook up the whole center before you go diagonally in. Now we can finish the diagonal right there. Now we're going to go in on the other side. And just hook all the way up and then bring it in the center. So it looks like this. Now, your room should look like this. And finally, we're going to do our last character, which is Steve. So you're going to go in all the bands, get only the connector bands, grab the top two going to the right, grab the next top two going to the left, and grab the next two going to the center then we're going to hook up the whole center and we're going to go on the sides like that now we're going to go in the other side Same process as before. And then go in the diagonal. So now it should look like this. Now be sure to check that your loom looks like this before we continue. Once you're ready, we can go in. Finally, all Steve's headbands and grab the bottom two. Bring those up, and this will connect all of them. Let me just push down my pegs. This will connect all the heads and leave them together, so make sure that they're nice and tight. So now, we can just leave your finger on them so they don't fall off. We're going to start taking off the bracelet from the bottom. So we're going to start with Alex and just go in with your hook and take her off. Then we're going to go up to the pig, just take the pig off, And then when you're getting near to the end, make sure your fingers are on these bands so that they don't fall off while we're taking the other parts off. Because we don't want that to happen because those two bands are holding together everything that's on the bracelet. So now you can take those last bands, put them on your hook. Now your bracelet may be all curvy and crazy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn to the side with the pig's nose may look like the pig doesn't even have any eyes, but we're going to stretch it out so that it looks like it has eyes. So we're starting with the pig. You don't want to show up too much of the eyes. 
so much that it looks crazy. And you're going to pop out Alex's face. You can fix all that. And make sure you're leaving all of this on your hook. Then you can finally pop out Steve's face so it looks like this. And you can stretch as much as you want. I'm not going to do too much because I don't want to waste too much time. So now we're going to add on the extension to the bracelet. And you can do as many as you need. So we're just going to place a band on the tip of your hook. You can use one or two. Um, if you want to continue the look of two bands like we did in the first one, you can use two. But I prefer one so it doesn't use too many bands. And you're just going to basically take single bands and just loop everything through, bring them back on, and repeat this step as many times as you need to. And bring it back over. So, now we've done it. And you're going to need a C or S clip. Just fix that. And that's something that I forgot to tell you. You can just take it off the hook into your fingers now. So I'm sorry I forgot to tell you guys you need a C or S clip. But you're going to place the C or S clip, today I'm using the S clip, into the bands. And then you can connect it over onto the Alex Cap band. And you can keep stretching until it looks good, but now you basically have your bracelet. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and be sure to watch out for more tutorials on my channel. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye!